Hello again. It's Riding Wednesday and this is the Riders Podcast, episode number 15. And today I'm back to my library, one room of my library, and I want to talk about reading with you. I think that if you want to become a good writer, you have to read a lot. And why? Let's talk about nonfiction. If you read nonfictional books of other authors, you will learn a lot about techniques they use. Do they use information boxes? Do they use questions they ask the readers? Do they give them exercises? Do they leave empty pages where readers can put in their thoughts? All these are examples which might have been not in your mind. And then you have that brilliant idea, wow, I can do that as well. And that's allowed. You don't have to invent the wheel again. It's there already. <laughs> so if you're writing nonfiction, then take a look to many, many other books of the same or similar topic you are writing about and get your inspiration from the others. And if you're writing fiction, then it's very, very important to read many other authors and not only learn it, but explore it, how they build their characters. One of the huge character builders, for example, is John Irving. Or have you ever read William Faulkner, for example? Ernest Hemingway, huge character builders. Take a close look on how they build their characters, their main characters and their biographies. You can learn or explore a lot about how they describe, how do they describe situations, landscapes, cities, how do they build dialogues. Writing dialogues is one of the most tricky things. So it's very important to get many, many examples and find out what is my way. How do I like it? What's my style? And, of course, we want to get better. We want to get a better writing, better dialogues, better storytelling from one book to the other. This is what we want, right? So read a lot whenever it is possible for you, not only in the writing process or during the writing process, but also when you have a pause between two books. Read other books, books that make you happy or excited or passionate. Try to grab your feelings, your emotions, and don't stay into, just into, in your brain, right? Just thinking, I have to read because I have to learn. No, try to get your feelings involved. That's very important to get the next writing process going. So I know that there are many people who say I don't have enough time for reading. I just can read during my holidays. I, I can't read in daily life. I've got much too much work to do. If you're one of these persons, I'd love you to do an experiment. Sit down after you listen to my podcast and write down how much time of the day do I spend watching TV, floating around in the social media, <laughs> or just letting time go by because we are confused, um, don't know what to do when first, unstructured. Write down how much time that is. 
and you will find out there is half an hour where you can read per day. I promise you, you will find this time. Many people say it's too exhausting after a long work day to read. Please, if you feel this, please try glasses. It might be, I'm sorry to say that, that you get in that age where you need reading glasses. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but it happened to me. There came a day when I thought, I don't want to read anymore. It's too exhausting. And I couldn't find out why. It took me one and a half years to find out that I need reading glasses. And all of a sudden it wasn't exhausting anymore. Sounds ridiculous, but that's life. If you can read during your um, ride to work, for example, you're riding by train or bus, that's perfect. There is even a Facebook group, oh my God, <laughs> it's so funny. It's called Hot Guys Reading and they are posting um, pictures of handsome men who are reading in the subway or bus or train, wherever. <laughs> you might like that. And maybe you are one of those hot guys reading them soon. <laughs> if it's not possible for you because you have to write to work by car, then why don't you listen to books on Audible, for example, or I do it the very old fashioned way. I still use CDs in my radio in the car and I hear a lot, a lot of, of books love it very much because I'm traveling a lot by car and then I'm, I'm always looking forward to oh I've got a thousand kilometers to go which means I can do a whole big book in that time like uh, John Irving for example give it a try never forget if you want to be a good writer you have to read a lot. <laughs>